So my friends and I decided to go biking at the F1 track on Yas Island. It was just for fun. And while we were there, we saw a group of people that were crawling and dragging each other, pushing each other, running. And it just it seemed really interesting. Uh, so I went and I asked what it was about. And it, they were having some sort of boot camp class. They were doing it on a weekly basis. So I decided, you know what, next week, I'm going to show up. Up until then, I was never really physically active. This, this biking was a social activity that I was doing. So come next week, and there we are in front of the grass, there is about 10 tractor tires laid out, just similar to that. And the trainer comes and tells us that, okay, one of the exercises we're going to be doing is flipping these tires. And there I am thinking, I can barely pick up my own luggage and put it into an overhead compartment in an airplane. And they want me to flip this tire 10 times. Anyways, I tried, and I failed. I tried again and I failed. Uh, looking around, you know, these people were just flipping it constantly. When you see that happening, you think, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I'm not strong enough. I'm, I don't know this. It's not my territory. And they were just pushing me to keep trying. So I kept trying, and I kept showing up. And that was four years ago. Today, I'm, I'm a trainer. I train groups of six to 60 people, and I ask them to flip these exact same tires. And I still get people telling me, you know, I can't flip it. I, yes, you can. You know, just get into it and keep trying. That's what really counts. I think if someone else can do it, I can do it. It's as simple as that. If, you know, I have people in my sessions thinking, oh, I wish I could do pull-ups the way you can. I think, you know, then get to the bar and start training. You can. I couldn't lift a four kilo dumbbell. Three months later practicing, I started lifting 16. That determination of thinking, you know, someone else is going to do it anyway. Why not let that person be me? So I have a day job during my 9 to 5 where I work at the Education Council, and I, I love that. So it's not something I want to give up either. And then I'm a trainer in the evenings. So I'm still kind of balancing both, both jobs. But I'm just so passionate about both of them that I'm not willing to give either up. It is difficult, it's very difficult. I still have time, times where I think, you know, I'm not seeing enough of my family, I'm not seeing enough of my friends. Uh, but it all comes down to time management and prioritizing. You know, I know what my priorities are and I need to work towards them. There are constantly going to be people saying, don't do this, it's not right, don't do that. Um, you know, you don't spend time with us, you don't see us, you're never around, but it's, I know what my priorities are, and if I want to be happy, that's where I need to work towards. Two aspects. The first, of course, is physical, because you do need to have that physical strength. But the more challenging part is the mental aspect of it, where you, know, you sit in front of the tire and you think, I can't flip it. You know? Or say there's a bar and I want to do a pull-up, and I, it took me about four months of training every single day until I got my first pull-up. And until now, I get in front of the bar and I think, can I do it? Yes, I can. I get myself up there. It's all determination. It's very, very, very mental. You think, you know, these weights are heavy. What if I hurt myself? But then I know the technique, how to do it. So that's just, it's just mind games playing with myself, barriers I'm putting up for myself. One of my trainers, when I first started my fitness journey, and I'd think, you know, I can't do this, I can't do this. And it gets frustrating, because you see everyone else doing it, but you can't. And he'd always say, try and fail, but never fail to try. So that's, let's keep trying. Failing, basically, in the beginning, it's not being able to do what you want to do. But no one's born with with the knowledge of how to do everything. You need to keep practicing. The only reason I was able to finally lift those tires was because I kept practicing. Um, the reason I'm able to do certain lifts now is because I keep practicing. And it's all about technique. You really need to educate yourself on 
how to do a certain movement so that you can execute it in the best possible way and improve in it. If you're just doing it without the education and without being conscious of how your body is, is reacting, you're never going to get anywhere. A lot of times we are our own limits. We don't think that if we just go after something, we can get it. We don't have to wait for things to happen to us. People think it's luck. It's not luck. You need to work for it. And working for it does not have to be daunting. You could work for it and really enjoy the process. You are strong. Believe in your strength. I think it's bright. I do believe that with the support of each other, we can and should follow our passions, not let anyone get in our way or anything, even our own mental blocking, get in the way of following our passion. We are capable. Together we can do it.